so I had someone who came, she wants to start a family. Uh -huh. She's not married, but she's been with somebody for six, seven years. And I see a lot of conflicts and things in her chart. And if she's asking me the question for timing, um, there's part of me that wants to look at the dashas um, generally, and there's part that wants to say how many other factors, and then my mind goes to, you know, oh my gosh, I have all of these things that I'd want to say, but instead of focusing, and it might be my Gemini rising that wants to <laughs> put the fingers in every pie instead of being focused. So if someone, if you're doing a reading in terms of someone's issue right then, yeah, you, what you've just said is you, you know, you look at the generational planets, social planets, but she's also talking about a very personal, you know, moon, kind of her family, her home, her children, you know, what that would look like. So um, it, the, the, question I have is sort of what order to go in in terms of looking at um, see, someone who has a specific question. See, firstly, uh, yes, a specific question when a person asks, just be specific. For example, she's asked you about the child. You first need to see the first sixth house. First sixth and also the twelfth house. Yeah. The childbearing. Then you add it to one, three, six, and 12. That, um, okay, is she capable of having children? And mm -hmm. mentally, you could also see her age. Mm -hmm. And also her seventh house, her relationship with her spouse. Right. Because at times, people think that they'll have a child and the relationships will improve. So they want to have a child. Oh, right. Okay. And then yeah. engage her in the conversation that... Uh, is the child more important to you or is the child more important for you and your relationship? Yeah, she's already expressed that he's not so keen, but she is. <laughs> but have you have you understood now immediately? I, I don't know the person I haven't seen, but right. this will generally take you to the right direction. Yep. Now, the husband is not keen, she is keen you can understand that the hormones are not working in congeniality. So doing the synergy of the husband and the wife is important. Yeah. So the sinistry chart is important in a child uh, chart. Yeah. And then slowly you can gravitate and tell her that, okay, fine, you may have a child, conception is not a problem, but the problem is that tomorrow you'll have to probably single-handedly take the onus of the child. Are you prepared? That you can see by seeing the money chart. Does she have enough money? Oh. You see the 10th and the 11th house. And then your psychological skills come into play. when Because see, the ultimate aim when you are talking to a client is the client's progress, the client's happiness, so that you're truthful to the clients. 